Good morning Leo and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video Leo we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you uh, for the upcoming days and week. Remember Leo this is a general reading if it resonates with you at this time please hit the like button to let me know. Um, this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Leo placements. And to the cross watchers checking in on a Leo in your life, please take the messages as they best resonate for you. You can reverse the roles here today, um, but otherwise I do highly recommend a personal booking because it's more specific and suited to what you're currently going through. If you haven't already done so, Leo, but you would like to, please join the please join the community by hitting that subscribe button. In doing so, you will be reminded of every time I release a new video for your sign. And lastly, but not least, I want to mention, I want to say a big happy birthday to each and every one of you beautiful Leos out there um, that have celebrated a birthday in the last week or two. Um, apologies for being MIA Leo. Uh, I haven't been feeling the best. I did have a migraine over the weekend. So the whole time I was thinking of Leo, oh my goodness, Leo's waiting for their reading, Leo's waiting for their reading. But at the same time, I know Leo that you are probably out there celebrating your birthday, enjoying it with your friends and family and loved ones. So here we go. Let's open up the reading by taking a look at your person's, the, the strongest energy surrounding your person with regards to their feelings towards you, okay, for the upcoming days and weeks. So spirit angels and guides, please show us the strongest energy surrounding Leo's person. It was also my daughter's birthday on August the 15th, 15th of August. We celebrated on the weekend by going out. She turned 13, Leo. We had mocktails and dinner um, at her request. So it was awesome. Let me know in the comments section how you've been celebrating. All right, these cards seem to be a little quiet. Strongest energy, please, spirit. Strongest energy surrounding the person that Leo is thinking of dealing with and connecting to in love okay the spider spirit decided to come through this is earth energy so for some of you leos you could be connecting to an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i don't know why lately i've been getting names so i'm seeing sam or samantha sam or samantha so for some of you that message is coming through all right, let's, let me just channel the energy of this spider spirit. So Leo, if, if recently you and your person have gone through some kind of a breakup or a separation, maybe you had an argument or a dispute and you kind of like went your separate ways or maybe you have kind of been giving each other a bit of the cold shoulder. I am seeing that your person is wanting to come in this week very, very strongly. They want to come in and they want to mend and fix the situation. They want to mend the relationship with you. They want to build the bond here with you. I do get someone who is dedicated to fixing the connection. That's what I'm getting very, very strongly here. They're dedicated to fixing the connection. Okay, they want to restore uh, the connection. They want to bring it into balance and harmony again. Mm. That's how they feel, Leo. Okay, that's the strongest feeling surrounding them. So let's break this down. Um, I'm getting someone who is very determined to work on the relationship this week. Uh, there is also someone here, Leo, that is trying very hard to attract you. Okay, there is someone here that is trying to draw you in or win your affection in some way. So the spider, the web, okay, it's like this person's trying to catch you. This person's trying to win you. Uh, they're trying to impress you also. I'm getting someone who's trying to impress you here. 
Mm, okay, a couple of, couple of different messages coming in here for our beautiful Leos. This person has a strong creative side, Leo. I feel like this person's quite the visionary also. That's what the other messages that I'm getting in. That might be very specific and might be, uh, might be some confirmation for you, Leo. All right, why is Leo's person coming through as the spider this week? Tell us more. Tell us more. Why is Leo's person coming through as the spider? See, justice is coming through. So Major Arcana for Libra, you could be connecting to a Libra here. We've got the Queen of Wands, beautiful fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be connecting to another fire sign. Let me just take a look at these two cards. Look, I do have to say that this person is highly attracted to you. Um, okay, let's just start with the Justice card first. So see, I feel like this person wants to restore balance back to the connection. Okay, I'm getting that very, uh, very hard, very strongly here that this person wants to uh, come in and perhaps make things right here with you. Perhaps they said something out of line. Uh, maybe they, I don't know, cut you down or treated you unfairly here. They recognize with the justice card that they were wrong to do so and they want to come in and maybe apologize and make things right here with you there is someone here that is very much attracted to you leo they can see themselves having a serious and committed relationship here with you for some of you this person with the justice card can see themselves tying the knot or getting married with you okay this person is trying to attract you um, or they're trying to draw you closer in some way. Mm. This person feels uh, that you compliment them. Okay. You compliment them or you bring out the best in, in this person. You're good for them. You're good for their soul. You're good for their spirit. Mm. I feel like with the Queen of Wands that this person's uh, trying to impress you. Okay, they're trying. They're coming in, showing like they're showing me that they're trying to, yeah, do their best to impress you and win your affections here. Mm. This person could be coming in trying to give you some special treatment also or they're trying to prop you up or you know put you up on some kind of a pedestal or perhaps this is just how this person sees you Leo. Okay they they put you up on a pedestal they think very highly of you here. Mm. But aside, aside from that, Leo, I do feel that this person intuitively feels like they want to bring balance back to your connection. If there's been some kind of in, injustice or done here. Okay, so they might want to come in and apologize and own up and admit to their faults or their mistakes. Okay, with the justice card here, it would tell me that this person is starting to see things from your perspective or your point of view. I get for some of you, this person is highly creative. They could be like a, an entrepreneur. This could be a leader in some way. Uh, this person like leads a group of people or I'm getting like a strong influencer. So for some of you, you might be connecting to an influencer. I know that's very specific, but that's the message that I'm getting. All right, what else have we got here? Okay, Spirit Angels Guides. Why is Leo's person coming through as the spider this week? Please show us why Leo's person is coming through as the spider. Why is Leo's person coming through as the spider? Wow. 
three uh well i was going to say three major arcana but there's the strength card this is major arcana for leo you could be connecting to another leo okay so i'm getting someone here that's coming through feeling very bold and brave yeah they're, they're they're boldly coming towards you leo okay i also feel like this person is wanting to strengthen your connection with the strength card here because you know why because when i look at the spider's web the spider's web can easily be damaged so there's something about your connection or situation that has been damaged but with the strength card here this person's telling me that they want to strengthen the bond or they want to strengthen that connection again for others of you with the queen of wands and the strength card here this person is confidently coming towards you i'm going to clarify the strength card can we just clarify this strength card here spirit Okay, let's clarify this strength card yeah ace of cups i'm telling you right now leo uh, for some of you this is a new person coming in and they can see themselves you know having a, a long-term relationship here with you i feel like this person is boldly coming in or courageously coming in presenting you with some kind of a love offer like i said for the rest of you who know this person been dealing with this person been interacting with this person they want to come in and make things right they want to offer you an apology i feel like it's sincere here i feel like with the strength card that this person is loyal or wants to show their loyalty to you leo okay they want to show their lo loyalty to you by doing the right thing or by doing what they feel is right for the the situation or right for the relationship now like i said with the ace of cups this could be someone new and i'm seeing the dove now so they want to make some kind of peace offering or like extend that olive branch leo um i just seen the infinity symbol above the the lion oh sorry uh I've just looked at the infinity symbol here, uh, just above the woman in the strength card. So this person has a strong connection to you, Leo, or like I said, wants to strengthen that connection here. Let me just put that there because that needs to go there. What other messages am I getting here? You may have set some kind of boundary with this person, with the Queen of Wands. Okay, I always see this Queen of Wands as someone who's raised their standards. So this person, it feels like they need to pick up their game. Okay, they need to pick up their game here when it comes to you or when it comes to dealing with you. Hmm. But this person knows in order to keep you, Leo, they, they have to pick up their game. So I want to understand what's going on with you, though. What's How are you feeling towards this person? Let's just take a quick look at how you're feeling and we'll go back to this person. So spirit angels and guides, how is Leo feeling towards this person? How does Leo feel towards this person? So this person will be the person that you're thinking of dealing with and connecting to this week, Leo. Okay, the moon. Okay, you don't, you're not 100% on this person because the moon would tell me here that you don't trust this person okay um could be connecting to a pisces or a cancerian here with the moon card you may even feel like this person is up and down on uh, up and down uh, very moody with the moon card here you're like mm, i'm not sure rosa this person's sort of like all over the place. I can never make, 
I can never know what they're going to say next or what they're going to do next. Mm. It's very interesting. You feel there's a sense of confusion here for you, Leo. You feel confused because you can't determine how this person f feels from one moment to the next. The moon also operates in cycles. So for some of you, you're like, mm, I've been down this road before, Rosa. You know, they've, they, they've apologized to me before. I'm not sure if I should accept their apology this time. You're just not trusting this person. Mm, there's a lack of clarity here for you. You're just unsure. Um, okay, there's the two of cups. I'm just going to grab one more for Leo. One more. Oops. I'll grab the Six of Swords because that's the card that showed through. Face, face up. Face, faced up. Face up. Six of Swords. Okay. So, okay. Stick with me, Leo, because I've got some messages that I need to unpack here. If it's someone new, you don't know how this person feels. You like this person with the two of cups here. Okay, you like them. You feel this connection. But on, when it comes to how you feel about them, you're not sure if they feel the same way. Okay, so you like this new person. You feel the connection. You feel like every time you see them or meet up with them, um, that things seem to go really well and things run smoothly but maybe with the moon card here you're not sure how they feel about you you're not sure if this is mutual or maybe with the moon card you haven't heard from this person okay but there is someone here that's very much attracted to you Leo so with this situation, Leo, you're showing me, Rosa, I'm not sure if I should wait for this person or if I should just move on. Okay, the moon's telling me here that your mind isn't 100% made up. You're just very unclear or very unsure as to what to do. You're showing me two, two minds. I don't know why I'm getting two minds, but that's what I'm showing. I feel like it's coming from the moon, so let's clarify it. You're saying to me with the Six of Swords, Rose, I don't know if I should wait or if I should just move on. Mm. If I should just turn my back or if I should just move on. I need to clarify these cards. So let's clarify the moon why is the moon here with regards to leo's feelings towards this person i can see here with the six of swords that you want peace you want to move towards karma waters i can see that leo is a is a lover not a fighter so leo i can see very clearly here you want to move to towards karma waters Okay, let's clarify this moon, the lovers, major arcana for Gemini. For some of you, you could be connecting to a Gemini. Yeah, so Leo, you may feel like you have like a twin flame or a soulmate connection with this person. The moon would tell me here, if this is someone new, you feel like your feelings are intensifying for, th for this person. Your feelings are becoming stronger or intense. That's what I'm getting with the lovers and the moon. Mm. And so that's why the Six of Swords is here because you're saying to me, 
uh, like I don't know how they feel I don't know if I should wait I don't know if I should move on but these feelings that I'm feeling for this person seem so strong and they seem so in it seems intense let's clarify the two of cups why is the two of cups here for Leo's feelings towards this person ten of wands For some of you Leos, you feel like this relationship is hard work. Okay, you feel like this relationship is hard work. You may feel like up until this point, you've done all the work in the connection and you feel like this person isn't maybe meeting you halfway. Hmm. For those of you who are dealing with someone new, the Ten of Wands is telling me here with the Two of Cups that, again, I'm just getting that repeat message that not knowing how this person feels towards you is weighing heavy on your shoulders. Mm. It's... it's Yeah, it's weighing heavy on your shoulders here. What's your Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here? For the rest of you, you're like, yeah, I could talk to this person. I could hear them out. But like, it just seems to like happen again and again and again, you know? And you're like, Rose, I don't know if I can carry this anymore. Let's have a look at these Six of Swords. Four of Cups in reverse. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that's a real struggle, Leo, because the Four of Cups in the upright, you're not sure if this person is interested in you. You're not sure if they like you. Um, because like I said earlier, you've been doing all the work, okay? There is someone here that does fancy you, but you feel like you've been doing all the work. But that's about to change with the Four of Cups in reverse, but I don't know if it's too late, okay? I don't know if it's too late for you. For others of you, um, you're like, I'm not sure if I should wait or if I should move on, Rosa. I'm waiting for an apology, but it's like it's not coming. Like the apology that I I want is not coming. They're, they're not reaching out to me. But still, I'm getting this hesitation. You're hesitant about moving forward or you're hesitant about moving on. Leo, that's what I'm getting very strongly here. And I, I feel like it's this pull from the Lovers and the Moon card here. Something keeps pulling you back. Something keeps drawing you back in when it comes to this person. You find this person very mysterious. Maybe the physical connection or the sexual connection, because I do see the Lovers here, um, is very strong. Okay, let's take a look at this person's intentions when it comes to you. Spirit, angels and guides, what is this person's intentions when it comes to Leo? What are their true and real intentions when it comes to Leo? Yeah, like Leo, sorry, Spirit is saying here, Rosa, I'm waiting for this person to reach out but they haven't reached out yet. With the Strength card and the Ace of Cups, this person may be too prideful to extend an apology, or they may feel they like they want to, but their pride and their ego is holding them back from apologizing. And you're just like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting, but it's not coming, so I think I should just move on. Okay, let's take a look at this person's intentions. Spirit, angels and guides, what is this person's true and real intentions when it comes to Leo? What is this person's true and real intentions when it comes to Leo? Three of Wands. Three 
Tell us more, Spirit. What is this person's true and real intentions? The Sun card. Okay, another card of Leo. Spirit angels and guides. What is this person's true and real intentions? The devil. Major arcana for Capricorn. Hmm. Let me just clarify the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here in this person's intentions? Why is the Three of Wands here in this person's intentions? Spirit, why is the Three of Wands here in this person's intentions? Okay, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So, Leo, I feel like with regards to this person's intentions, it feels like this person wants to approach you okay they want to approach you to fix the the emotional connection because the ten of cups is in reverse so there's been some kind of distance there's some there's been some kind of a breakup or like the emotional connection between the both of you doesn't feel as strong as it used to so this person intends to approach you and work on this and fix this with that three of wands they desire to come towards you and repair that emotional connection Um, for some of you, this person's been waiting for you to be the one to do it. Why? Because they've been so used to you doing it all the time. You know, they've been so used to you being the one to reach out and constantly fix things with them. Because they've got the devil here. So they've got some kind of like toxic pattern. That's what you were showing me with the moon. You're like, Rose, I don't trust them. They they keep doing this though. They keep doing this, whatever they do. Uh, it could be here, they come in, they apologize. They say they're not going to do it again. But then, you know, three weeks later, it happens again. Or a few days later, it happens again. That's that devil energy. Mm. For others of you where this is a new person, they are not sure. I, they can see a future here with you, but it hasn't, re, it hasn't been realized yet because the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Okay, when it comes to this person's intentions, they want to come in here and they want to shower you with a lot of attention with the Sun card and the Devil. To me, it feels like it's over the top. Mm. it's like they want to make you the center of attention all the time but just something about this devil feels like it's over the top why is the sun card here nine of swords Okay, um, I don't know, straight away, the Nine of Swords, I heard insecure. So this person may be insecure, Leo. They may have insecurities. Hmm. Yeah, they, they overthink everything here. They overthink everything to the point of making them, they create stories in their head. I feel like this person creates stories in their head that aren't true. It could be like something that they've done since they were a little boy or a little girl. It's, it's an insecurity. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's coming through. Why is the devil here?
Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. For some of you Leos, um, you might not be accepting communication from this person. Okay, it's kind of like the more you resist them, the more obsessed they become here with you. It's like the more you don't talk to them, the more they become obsessed here with you and the more they get in their head or the more insecure they become. Mm. Yeah, that's really interesting. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but that's what's coming through. Let me just get another one for the devil. Knight of Wands. Okay, that's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said earlier, Leo, this person could be in their pride and their ego here. That's that toxic pattern. They know with the Ace of Swords in reverse that they need to come in and extend some kind of apology or tell you the truth to clear the air here. But you might be viewing this person as a player, Leo. You feel like this person isn't honest with you. You feel like they always come in and they try to sweep me off of my feet, but you feel like everything they tell you is lies or it's not the truth. Again, I just feel like it's that repeated message of, I've heard it all before, Rosa. Okay, what action will this person take? What action will they take towards Leo? What action will they take towards Leo? Spirit, what action will this person take towards Leo? Spirit, what action will this person take towards Leo? Oh my goodness, look at this, Eight of Swords. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Leo? Nine of Cups. So they have this wish fulfillment here with you. I saw the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Wands. What is this person doing? Give me a moment, Leo. I mean, I feel like with the spider and the nine of cups, this person desires to fix things here with you. That's their wish fulfillment. But they're having a hard time of fulfilling this wish. And you're saying, Rosa, I'm not surprised. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> I'm just like, Rose, I'm not surprised. This is what I have to deal with. Um, the Eight of Swords, see, this person desires to fix things here with you, but the Eight of Swords tells me here that this person is holding back from attempting to fix things here with you. Now, this person is attracted to you, but they're holding back. The reason why is because they're feeling insecure. They are in, this person is very insecure, Leo. This might be the confirmation that you need maybe with the six of swords here in your energy to move on. Because I know a Leo can't deal with someone who is insecure. You can't deal with that. That's, that's just going to present all sorts of problems down the track for you. I need to clarify the Eight of Swords. 
Oh, look, I do have to say with the Eight of Swords, with regards to their actions, they are frustrated with themselves, though. they There is a sense of frustration within this person because I feel like they want to, but I feel like their pride and their ego is overtaking here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Mm, that's just telling me here that this person's not happy with themselves. Okay, they are. There's a, there's a strong frustration here. They're frustrated with themselves because there's a strong insecurity or there's a strong fear here. This person has self-limiting beliefs. And maybe that's why there's a lot of conflict in your relationship. For those of you who are dealing with someone who, you know, you've been dealing with for quite some time, that's why there is conflict. I feel like this is someone who they get in their head, they create these stories, they turn their back on you or they give you this cold shoulder. I don't feel like that's what they want to do, but they want you to continuously run after them or chase them, Leo. <clears throat> and that's why you're getting tired of it. But because this person is feeling insecure, you chasing them reassures them. Mm. Yeah. All right, what's this Seven of Wands? What's this Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here? It's kind of like they... They push you away or they've got some kind of a wall up. They they want to get closer to you, but yet they're, they're coming across as someone who's very hard to love. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yep, the High Priestess. You're like, I'm just like, my hands are running through my head. You're frustrated with this person, Leo. With the High Priestess, you're like, this is what they do. They are so hard to love. They're so hard to get close to. Mm. Again, with the High Priestess, this is an energy. This is what you were showing me with the Moon card, Leo. You were saying, Rosa, I don't trust this person. They don't reveal how they feel. They don't reveal to me what it is that they want. They don't tell me. You might be asking them questions and they don't give you clear answers, Leo. And you're like trying and trying and trying and this person's giving you nothing to work with. Let's see how you're going to respond to this situation. Let's see how Leo is going to respond to this situation this week. Spirit angels and guides, how is Leo going to respond to this situation this week? How is our Leo's, yeah, four of pentacles. I feel like you're... I feel like you're closing yourself off. That's what it feels like to me with the Four of Pentacles. You don't trust this person, so you're not letting them get too close to you. Yeah, even with the even with the new person, there is someone here that is very attracted to you, but with the the Knight of Wands here, you're just like not trusting this energy because they're too inconsistent here with you. They're too wishy-washy here with you with the Moon card. You're saying to me, they're hot and cold. I don't know what, what's going on with this person. Yeah, there's the Five of Pentacles. Yes, I get very strongly here. You're closed off, but then you're going to walk away. So I feel like how you're going to respond to this situation, Leo, it's progressive. I feel like it's progressive energy. You're not doing it straight away. You're just not cutting the cord straight away. I feel like, first of all, you're going to withdraw. You're going to pull back. You're not going to let this person get too close. You're not letting this person have access to you. And then with the Five of Pentacles, you're going to walk away. Okay, you're going to walk away. You're going to give this person the cold shoulder. Yeah, Will of Fortune. 
could be dealing with a, a fixed sign like yourself. We've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus and Leo here. Yeah, you feel like this is a good time. You feel like this week is a good time to kind of walk away and start preparing yourself for bigger and better things with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you know with the Wheel of Fortune there's something bigger and better or there's someone better out there for you. Let's just clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to close out a cycle here with the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like if this person was to reach out, Leo, you will not be accepting their invitation or you will not be accepting their offer. Mm. And also too, you're like, Rosa, you know, this is delayed. Okay, how, I'm not going to wait, Rosa. I'm not going to wait for them to reach out. I'm, I'm done. I'm moving on. That's how you're going to respond, Leo. All right, Leo, that's your reading. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know which part best resonated for you. And until my next reading, Leo, take care. Bye, guys.